Jeez, son, why does Jared hate you? Uh, <laughs> what'd you do, fracture his skull when you hit him with the vase or something? No. No, I mean, he really thinks I'm dirt. Okay, you lost me. Last night, um, when we were out, he saw the limo. You know, he didn't know it was mine, but that set him off on this tirade against the Cranes. Mrs. Crane, in particular, he said, she is a sweet young thing that married an old man for his loot. Well, that's what the tabloids made you out to be, honey. And he believes every word. He has no idea that I'm Mrs. Crane, the woman that he hates. He thinks I'm a struggling single mother who works for a whip-snapping bitch. Okay. So why exactly haven't you told him the truth? Because it's heaven being with someone who doesn't know that I'm Mrs. Crane. You know, when Jared spends time with me, I know it's because he likes me, not because he wants something from me. Chad felt the same way after he found out that he was a crane. It's hard to find people that you can trust, you know? That, that, that's why I value my friends so much, because I know that they spent time with me for me, not because I'm Mrs. Crane, and I feel like if I tell Jared the truth, he will either be intimidated by me or he'll end up using me. You don't know that. I just don't want to mess things up. Look, I get it. I get what you're saying. And you deserve to have fun for a change. But come on now, you know better than anyone else that the truth is going to come out sooner or later. Jared is bound to find out who you really are. Alan, would you send in the next applicant, please? Thanks. I hope this next candidate is as good as their resume. Teresa needs a take charge person to be her right hand. If she hadn't chased off Ethan, I wouldn't be playing Teresa's personnel shopper. Oh well, it's a living. Come in. Right on time. We place a high premium on punctuality in European industries. I'm Valerie Davis. I'm conducting the initial interview for the executive search. And you must be Jared. I'm Jared Case. It's uh, nice to meet you, Miss Davis. 